The Corvallis Fire Department is about to lose decades of experience with a longtime chief turning in his helmet and gear. KZI 9 News anchor Amber Wilmarth joins us live in the studio tonight to tell us about the major changes that he has faced over the years and the future of the department. It's our special report tonight. Amber. Renee, that station holds a lot of memories for Division Chief Douglas Bailey. He shared some of them with me and shared how the firefighting industry has changed, mostly for the better. After countless calls over the past 38 years, Division Chief Douglas Bailey is hanging up his helmet for good. You're making a positive contribution to the community that you serve. And that, that's really nice. I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss the people. Chief, how are you? Hey, how's it going? He started at the Corvallis Fire Department in 1981 as a volunteer. And I was hired in February of 1984. And continued working here and moving up the ladder ever since. When I got here, we had our reserve ladder truck. Didn't have a roof. That's no longer the case. He says a lot has changed since the 80s. Specifically, technology. It's improved their fire and EMS services, and it's also made their gear a lot safer. Some of this gear now has thermal imaging cameras built in. Which allows us to see through smoke. And how they clean these Major turnouts the after breeze. a fire has also changed. Dirty gear used to be the badge of honor. That's not the case anymore. Clean gear is good gear. That's because firefighters have a higher risk for cancer. So they've taken steps to reduce their exposure to toxins. Dirty stuff stays out here. Bailey tells me first responder mental health is also becoming a big priority. It's being addressed much better now than it was 30 some years ago. Nearly all of these changes are for the better, but there's one recent change that's for the worse. It seems like this one from last October in Springfield, where police say a man intentionally set his house on fire to kill first responders. Thankfully, none were injured during this incident. It's, it's kind of a different world. Is that something that you would have even thought of 30 years ago? No. I would. I mean, the the concern the concern I had about weapons was somebody who had a loaded weapon in a closet, um, and that with the house on fire, that would be the only concern. Concerns are different now. Bailey says by addressing the concerns that have emerged over the years, he hopes to create an even better and healthier career for the next generation of firefighters. It's definitely a youth movement, and so it's very exciting. Lot lot of energy coming into the organization. Fire Chief Roy Emery, who's also retiring this year, says he's known Bailey a long time. He's done a significant amount of work for the city and has always been good work for the city. How goes progress? Bailey's work ethic is something he's known for. Douglas always required and uh, wouldn't settle for anything less than uh, the very best you could always ever do. If you're on the drill ground and he happens to be there, pay attention to how you handle a ladder because he notices. He's also known for a few funny stories. The phone called and it was Douglas and he said, uh, this is Douglas out at fire. Um, how do I write an apologetic press release? Um, and so that was my first uh, brush with him. You guys have a safe ship. All right, Thanks, Chief. You too. That's the plan. Yes. These people and serving this community are what he says he'll miss the most. You're helping people. That's not a bad thing to do. Done. And Bailey is continuing to make a difference in this industry, but now through a local software company called Code 3 Strategist. He's one of the co-founders, which helps fire departments across the country run more efficiently. Live in the studio, Amber Wilmarth, KZI 9 News.